This is a love story. Maybe a one-sided love story. But a love story nonetheless. Let's go back to the beginning. You are autism. Send this to someone who is an autism. You are infected with being on the spectrum. And that is okay. Sometimes you do a weird thing. I don't care. And nobody should. Be proud of your infection. Embrace it. Wear fashions about it, like the ones I've designed. Please excuse my poor eye contact. I'm infected with autism. It's Autistic Girl Summer. Let's yell on the beach and also on the spectrum. Also comes in boy version and non-binary version. Please comment, I love my infection. And always remember, you are loved, even if you're infected with gay. As you can see from that ad, that man, Marcus Pork Sr., is a treasure. He's fucking beautiful. And he taught me that I'm beautiful too. Or at least for a while. You see, after this video, I, ha I had a bit of a crush, right? You know, you know how it is to have a crush. So I bought one of his shirts. That, that's what the video was for, right? It was just to sell some shirts. And... And, and, and I bought the bisexual time shirt. Just because I wanted them to know, to know, hey, just so you know, I'm like, I'm I'm open. That's, like, yeah, I'm, I'm a bisexual time. Pretty cool shirt, right? Pretty cool guy, right? Like, you can see I can clearly financially support you, Marcus Borg Sr. And here's some pictures of me rocking the shirt before my haircut. I, 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 and I posted those pictures just like, just so that it, I, I, I wanted to put a face to it, you know? He needed to know, hey, he's not, you know, he's not just wealthy. He doesn't just have a good Twitter following. Goddamn, look at all those likes on the original post, but he's also hotty, hot, hot bombshell. Because I was feeling like that after that video. I had never felt like that before. And then, and then, guess what? Here, wait, I, I, I'm just... And then he texted me. He texted first. After I bought the shirts, he asked, Hey, say, ye say yes for me to start texting you. And he was making the first move. He know he likes me, right? So I said yes in all caps. That might have been a mistake. I, maybe I should have played it cool, but I was just so head over heels at this point. Dashing, kind, like an artistic genius, and he wanted me. He was going out of his way to have me. I hadn't felt so special in all my life. So then he started texting me. He said I, he hopes I was legal age. I mean, it's I'm, I'm, I'm giddy thinking about how I felt it. Even, like, it's a dull approximation of what it used to be, but still, I'm still just so happy, like, thinking about those days. So, he said, he said thank you for supporting my dreams. I'll no longer look poor now that I have his designs, which was clearly him saying, wow, you look rich, Mr. Hotty Hot Hots. Like, like he was subtly flirting, you know? through the guise of being like a business owner. So I said what I could. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus Pork Sr. I love you, Marcus Pork Sr. You know, cause I just wanted, I just wanted to progress our re relationship already. I, I, like, I just wanted to get things going. I, I couldn't possibly hold back from my love for him. And he said, Thank you. He said to prove my love by buying his designs. I told him as soon as I got my next paycheck, I would be spending it all on his designs. And I have been. I've bought hundreds of these shirts. To the point where I had to sell my house. That's why I'm outside right now. I'm in a random person's yard. Which is pretty cool. But 
So then I ended up having to give up the shirts too. Without a house, I had nowhere to store them. So, but I thought, hey, I've proven my love already. I don't need these. I'll have the real thing. So I burned them all. Huge fucking bonfire. Huge bonfire. Huge. And I and I wasn't trying to like. It wasn't like one of those one of those guys who buys a fancy sports car. I wasn't trying to to make up for lacking somewhere else. So it was huge, okay? But anyway, that 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 that, that has nothing to do with this. So I bought a lot of his designs. And then, so a bit later, I uh, like after I put up the bonfire, I thought that that would kind of work as a bat signal for him. It didn't. So I was like, okay, I guess I need to reach out again. I guess that uh, we're, I guess that I need to be assertive now. So I said, so how are you doing, Marcus Pork Senior? You know, all flirty like, beautiful. And then he responded with the fucking thank you message again. And honestly, like, I didn't know what to think. I thought, I thought maybe it could be an accident. I thought maybe it was like some kind of joke. Maybe he was being passive aggressive that I hadn't bought a few of his shirts in a few days. Cause, you know, the whole homeless thing. So I said, Marcus, that reply doesn't answer what I just asked. I thought we had something special. Like, I, I, like I, I was trying to get him to confirm, no, we do have something special. It was just a bit. I love you. Come come, come, come to the park where I for, we'll film that video in, and we'll film a new video titled, You, while pointing at me, are the love of my life. But then he replied, We don't. But you were like a son to me. Anyway, I'm sorry for ever having bar bothered you, Marcus Borg Jr. I realized that. I just wasn't good enough for you. And it was callous of me to ever think otherwise. I've written a poem on Google Docs because, like I said, I don't have access to paper or anything like that anymore, but... Okay. Please say it wasn't me specifically. Please say this was all part of your plan. Because I loved you more than anything. I would have done anything. I would have... I would have stopped being autism. You said it was okay. But then why did you leave me, bae? My infection. My infliction. Why, why, why couldn't I have been made to your specifications? I loved you. But I guess that was a weird thing. And now for the interpretive dance section ending. Anyway, guys, I guess that's the end of the video. You can leave me now, just like he did. Unless you want to stay and cuddle or anything, I don't know if you'd be interested in that. Nah, who am I kidding? You wouldn't want my infliction, my infection, my other words, synonyms. Anyway, that, uh, that 1,000 subscriber special postponed, I guess. Oh no, I feel no time, September.